found myself that the coach pushed me more because he saw what was inside of me. I didn't understand. He, he said, this hurts more than me than you. Then he blow the whistle. Dude, we're running back and forth. And what I learned is that there's more in me than what I thought was in me. I hear a prophetic word. I hear a prophetic word. So in this house, we got to understand, we got to translate that, translate that in the spiritual. First natural, then spiritual. I hear that there are times that the Lord may call this house to a 6 morning a.m. prayer. And you feel like I'm feeling tired. I don't know I can make it. But I hear the coach blowing the whistle. Said, you can do it. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about your purpose. It's about who you are. In the sun mountain, just come out and push yourself a little more. Come out and find who you are in the body of Christ. So you can take it out to the sun mountain. God wants to test you first. There's ten things that he wants to test you on to write this down. Because he wants to know what's really in your heart. Come on. And sometimes we think we know what's in our heart until we get into that place. Anybody ever uh, slapped you? Then we find out what's really in you. Anybody ever spit on you? Then we will find out what's really in you. So, so God needs to test us. And so there's ten, so we call them in our ministry the ten M's that God wants to test us on. And so this is a way that we can evaluate whether we're strong in what God has designed for us and where our area is that we need to grow in. So when we talk about it, we talk about our manhood and our, our womanhood. How are you in, in keeping yourself as a man or a woman? We talk about what your motives are. Why do you want to be promoted? Why do you want to be up here in the front? Why do you want to do all these things? And what's your motive? Are you just doing it to serve God? Or are you doing it because you want to be seen? So what's really in your heart? Come on, come on. Come on. See, Come on now. We want to get up here. We want to preach. We want people to see. But you don't know the hell we have to go through to stand under the authority to be able to give that to you so that your life can change. So what are you going to do? Why do you want to be up here? How come you can't be able to witness to the Lord? How come you can't be telling somebody on the street corner that Jesus saved, Jesus healed, Jesus delivered? So what's your mind? Anymore, 
because you know we try to get this millennial generation move, but they need to go oh. us. You need to shut it up, keep it closed. Come on in, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 